Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You just clicked on one of my WTF Wednesday videos, which stands for Weekly Tracking of Finances, in which I go over the past week of expenses that we have done online using our card and replacing that money with the money that we have saved in our envelopes. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using the cash envelope system, building hefty savings and financial security for myself and my family. I've been doing it for about six months now and it's going really, really well. So if you've ever been curious on how the cash envelope system works with digital spending or using your debit card, then this would be the video for you. This is how I do it. It's not necessarily the only way, but this is what is working for me. So if you're here for motivation, inspiration, or simply entertainment, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of my thriving community. We are almost at 800 subscribers. It's blowing me away every day, guys. You are killing it. If you're already one of my current subscribers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been doing good this week. And without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing that I need to use for my WTF Wednesday is the star of the show, my expense tracker. This is just a calendar, a free printable that I found online. I added the words expense tracker to it before printing it out. And this is what I use for my expenses, particularly online expenses. So anything that we used our debit card for, or we bought things online or whatever, this is where I will track those and replace that money back in my account with the cash that we have saved in our envelopes. This method works really good if you already have a buffer in place inside of your account so you can just use that money and replace that money each week. For me, I like to do it from Wednesdays to Tuesdays and every Wednesday we go over the previous week's expenses and replace that cash if necessary. I also use stars to congratulate myself for not spending anything that day. And let me tell you, we're going to have a lot of stars this week. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, there's going to be a lot of stars this week. I actually did not spend anything on the 6th, 7th, 8th, or 9th. So that is four stars that I get to add onto my sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. While I'm doing that, how are you guys doing with your expense tracking? Let me know in the comments below how you do things and if it's going well for you. I'm always open to hearing new ideas. All right, so we've got four days where we spent absolutely nothing. On this day, Sunday on the 10th, I did go ahead and buy some stuff on Amazon. And that was for buying my materials I needed to ship out my YouTube giveaway winner thingies. <laughs> so that was for $27.67. I just wanted to put them in some nice little bubble mailers. So if you are one of the winners and you're watching this, just be aware that that's coming to you. <laughs> All right, so that will be it for YouTube giveaway. And then that was it that I spent on that day. On the 11th, though, my hubby did go and do a little bit of shopping himself. First off, we have AutoZone. He got there just in time before his battery died on him. So he had to buy a new truck battery. And that was $218.17. And 17 cents. Good thing we have that car maintenance envelope, am I right? The next thing that I purchased on that day was something at Walmart for 68.16. And then the last purchase on this day was actually our very first Christmas item. 
So I'm just going to write Christmas just in case anybody is watching this. And it was $375. So that'll be coming out of our Christmas fund. I know some of you have asked, how do I reconcile that when I'm using prop bills, like the $1,000 prop notes, and putting the money into the bank? Well, I'll show you that today. So that's it. So that means I get another star on the 12th. And that was five additional stars that we added. Now, if you watched my prep for October, you know I made a goal of 12 no spin days. So, so far we have five, six, seven no spin days, and it's only the 13th of October. So I think we're going to hit that number. So now what I like to do is I like to plug all of these purchases into my expense tracker book, which looks like this. I know it might seem redundant to write them down there and then write them down here, but for me, this helps me analyze our spending habits and so that we can make adjustments if necessary. If we see that we're spending too much on wants or just where we're spending too much money, we can make adjustments by looking it over and seeing it all that way, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. Anyway, so let me fill this out really quick because I, I obviously didn't do that before. I'll just write this really quick with you guys. So anyway, um, but yeah, this definitely helps me track what our spending habits are. I apologize for my handwriting. It is what it is when you're trying to write fast. And we did it to the 12th. So the expense, the category, amount, if it's a need or a want, and if we have accounted for that. Go ahead and just do my lines because that's what I like. All right, good enough. So I'll go ahead and write all of these out that we did. Since there's only like five, four purchases. Yeah, there's only four purchases total for this week. We'll do this together and I won't speed this up or anything. So on the 10th, we had Amazon. That will come out of the YouTube giveaway. And then that was for twenty-seven sixty-seven, and it was I am gonna consider a need. And then on the eleventh we had AutoZone. That's gonna come out of car maintenance, and that was for two hundred and eighteen dollars and seventeen cents. Definitely a need. Um, on the eleventh Walmart, and that's gonna come out of my wallet. And that was for $68.16, and it was a want. And then on the 11th, we have, I'm just going to write Christmas. And that's going to come out of our Christmas binder. And that was $375. And we'll go with need. I'm going to count Christmas stuff as need. All right, so that's that. Um... I can already tell you that nothing is going to come out of my account buffer. And that, when I say that, that means like I couldn't cover the cost, so it'll just have to come out of what's sitting in my account. So nothing came out of that, so that's good. We have nothing coming out of our grocery buffer, which is good because we had nothing left. <laughs> If you notice, we had nothing left from our grocery buffer. And then from sinking funds, we will find out how much we need to pull out from that. And then total spent this week. And we'll figure that up. All right, so first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and start pulling this cash. So I'm going to start with my wallet money, which I already took out of my wallet and I put it in the back to the bank 
here. And it's 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars. So that covers the 68, 16 in total. All right. So I'll put this off to the side here. And then the next one we can go into would be, let's do car maintenance. And that's in my short term binder. And that is right here. So car maintenance, we needed $218.17. So 100, 220, we'll go with that because that leaves $23 in my car maintenance. And it's okay, we're about to get our modus check, so we'll be able to replace some of that money. But let me go ahead and update my tracker. So I'm going to put, oops, this is brown, but whatever, battery, and it was 220 and that leaves $23. And today is the 13th. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, so 220 here. I'll put that there. So we have covered that in full, and now YouTube giveaway is also in here, and I can tell you we only have like 25 in this one, so it's fine though because we have overage already, so 25 is what we're going to put off over here. And because I know that there's overages through here, we're going to count that as covered. And then last thing we have is Christmas, which is in my long term. So the way that I'm going to do this, it's 375. Obviously, if I had cash, then I would do that, but I don't have $375 worth of cash here. So instead of going and making a partial deposit here, I'm just going to take one of these out. So we'll take 1,000. Actually, I'll leave this out too. So we'll take 1,000 out and I'm gonna go get my prop money and we're going to exchange that. So 1,000 minus 375 is 625. So I need $625 in prop bills, which should be this. So I'll take this and put this off to the side and then that leaves 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 625 and I will just put this back into here and We'll give this a quick count. So now my Christmas has 1,000, 2,000, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 20, 28, 40, 28, 50, 28, 55, 28, 60, 20, 61, 28, 62. So 2,862. All right. So we got that covered. For 375. All right, so that's good. So, total in sinking funds that we have taken out, and not just sinking funds, but also wallet cash, but it's fine. It's 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 310, 15. So, 315. 
And then let's go ahead and calculate up really quick how much we spent this week. So 2767, 218, 68, 16, and 375. So $689. Now you might be wondering, well, that doesn't match up, but that's because we also took from our Christmas buffer. And those were in prop bills, which is why they weren't counted here. And we took three seventy-five, so total three seventy-five and three fifteen. That's six ninety, which covers all of that. So we're good with that. And since this was a blue week, we will use blue. And that'll do it. So we have now, we are now replacing the money that we spent into my account. I'll put this in my back to the bank here. And what I'll probably end up doing, like I do at least every other week, um, is I just subtract this amount from what I need to withdraw from our next paycheck. So it, it, it still deposits it, but it just saves me a trip. And that'll be it. Like we did really good this week. I feel, even though it still was a lot, but because of Christmas, that's just going to happen now that we need to buy Christmas things. We did pretty good this week. I'm proud of us. So that'll be it. I know this is a pretty short video. However, <laughs> can't forget little squirt here. Um, I appreciate anybody who's here watching. I do have to tell you though that my husband last weekend went to a festival and he sold his side hustle there and he did incredible. I can't even express how good he did at the festival and it is actually a two weekend festival so he's going again this upcoming weekend. However, I already have this past weekend's money that he made. He's allowing me to use it and stuff it and do what I want with it. So let me just tell you, it was a lot. So I will, um, be stuffing that in addition to our paycheck this upcoming and my side hustle. So I'll be stuffing that up and then we will have another, side hustle of his to stuff next week because he has this weekend as well at the festival. So let me just say, I am so proud of my husband. If you're watching this baby, I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I will see you guys on Friday for that big cash stuffing. It'll be a pretty big one. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys then. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the family. We're growing. I'll see you guys on Friday. Keep thriving, Thrivers. Bye.